Adam Savage has said that a tool that you can't see is a tool that you won't use. It might as well not exist to begin with. So I made these plywood stand things to kind of help me see my tools, to make them more readily accessible, easier to use, making myself more likely to use them. I recently got both of these meters. This is a milliohm meter, so it's like a precision ohm meter. Uh, and this is an LCR meter, so LCR, 
that is inductance, capacitance, and resistance, so I can measure all three of those. Both of these two are designed to be mobile things, they're both battery powered, but I really have no need to ever move them, so this stand kind of turns these two mobile devices into two desktop devices. So now if I ever need to measure the capacitance of a capacitor, I can just turn this on, wire it up, and it'll always be right there, ready to go. And then having made this, I got to think more about what tools I use most often and how I could make them more readily accessible. And I realized that more than anything, I use these measuring tools. They are the most common things that are almost always in my hand. The problem with them though is that they don't really have a place, so they just end up being anywhere and I'll spend a good chunk of time just looking for them. So with this stand, my digital calipers and my beautiful DigiKey ruler will always be ready to do any measuring at moment's notice. But more importantly, it gives these two a home, so I'm more likely to put them here than just any random place. So the idea now is that these guys can slide on over here and they can live permanently in this corner of my bench. Previously, this corner was kind of devoted to random junk storage, so I can move that out of the way and actually use it for something productive like this. I'm really happy with how both of these turned out. This thing specifically is a, a beautiful mixture of DIY and technology that I just really love. This kind of unfinished birch plywood look is very much inspired by Adam Savage. So I really enjoyed working on this. This uh, scratch is a unique itch for me. Of course, I really enjoy working on like, hardcore electronics and robotics projects, but there's something special about working on and developing your, your working, your creating environment that I really enjoy. So this is just one little step towards streamlining future projects and being able to make things more efficiently and better convert the ideas from in my head to in reality. So this was probably a short one, but it was a very fun one for me. If you wanna get the CAD files that I use to make these, along with supporting me and my work, you can do so via Patreon. There's a link in the description. But I had a lot of fun. Hopefully you enjoyed something here. Um, that's all I have for now, so bye.